Hello and welcome to the 31st annual Corporate Spelling Bee hosted by the Literacy Council of Tyler. My name is Nathan Kelly and I am proud to serve on the Board of Directors for Literacy Council and honored to be your host of today's live stream event. We're here at the Green Acres Crosswalk Center and just highly anticipating which team is going to take home that coveted Literacy Council Spelling Bee trophy. I got my good friend Robert Patterson back here making faces at me. Hello Robert. He's going to be spelling for the First Christian Church of Tyler today. Maybe they will take home the Spelling Bee trophy. Uh, real quick, just wanted to say a special shout out to some of our sponsors. First and foremost, thanks to Tyler Morning Telegraph, M. Roberts Digital Media for making this live stream event possible. Also want to say a special thanks to our Queen Bee sponsors, the A.S. Genico Foundation, Michelle and Tim Brookshire, Cooperative Teachers Credit Union, Dr. D.M. Edwards, and again, Tyler Morning Telegraph, M. Roberts Digital Media. We're going to have some teams coming through that door in just a few minutes, so hang tight with us and we will be right back. And we've got our first team coming through the door here. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, welcome. So I think I could guess which decade, but do you want to tell me which decade? We're from the 70s. From the 70s, yes. the 1770s. That is correct, that sir. That is correct, okay. And which team are you with today? The Genesis Group. The Genesis Group. Are you prepared today? Do you as prepared as we can be. Do you think you're going to take home the trophy? Absolutely not. Gre okay. Can you spell declaration? D E C L A R I T O I O N. No, what did I say? <laughs> Close enough. Genesis Group, thanks so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. All right. All right, we've got our next team coming through here. Good morning. How are y'all? Doing well. How are you? Awesome. Doing very well. Tom, are y'all prepared to take home the trophy today? We're going to do our very best. All right. Who you got here behind you? Uh, Some caveman. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I've got, I've got a question for you, Tom. This is a spelling bee. Yes. And I, I know y'all are prepared to win. Can you spell Stone Age? Probably not. We came prepared to spell numbers. Numbers prepared to spell. <laughs> Can you spell the number 11? We spell rock. Spell rock. R O C K. <laughs> Thanks so much. Prothro and Will help me here. You don't know, they may take home the trophy today. Thanks so much, everyone. All right, looks like we have our team from Brookshire Grocery Company. Good morning, Brookshire's. How are y'all? Doing fine. Yourself? How are we doing? Doing very well. Are y'all prepared to win the spelling bee today? I think so. I think so. Think we got so? a chance. Awesome. Well, this is a spelling bee, so you're going to get put on the spot a lot. Can you spell grocery? G-R-O-C-E-R-Y. Hey, you don't know. Brookshire Grocery Company just may win today. Thank y'all so much. Come on in, team. And our reigning champs right here, Squires Johnson Squires, or actually just Squires and Co. now, had a name change recently. How are y'all doing today? Doing great. How are awesome. you? Awesome. Very well. Which decade, which year are y'all representing? We are AD, 100 AD. 100 AD. That is fantastic. So it looks like you've maybe got some Roman Empire going here. Can you spell Roman Empire? Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing for later. So. You're practicing for later. No one wants to be put on the spot now. Well, Squires, we appreciate it. Come on in, and good luck to y'all today. Thank you. 
We've got our team from First Christian. I'm here with my friend Nancy Patterson. Nancy, how are you today? I'm good. Awesome. Is Robert going to take home the trophy today? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, which decade is First Christian Church representing today? The what future. are we? The future. The f 2070. Kind of the George Jetson, maybe Star Trek theme going on here. I like it. I like it. Can you spell the word futuristic? Futuristic. futuristic. Can you can you use that in a sentence, please? Your costumes look very futuristic. Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome. First Christian, come on in. Thank you all so much, and good luck today. Thanks so much again for joining this live stream event and welcome to the 31st annual Corporate Spelling Bee hosted by the Literacy Council of Tyler. Again, my name is Nathan Kelly and I'm proud to be your host today. Uh, we're here at Green Acres, already got a lot of uh, guests joining us, already have a lot of teams ready to take the stage. We'll be waiting to see who takes home that trophy at the end of today's event. Special thank you to Tyler Morning Telegraph, M. Roberts Digital Media for making this live stream event possible. Also wanted to say thank you to our Queen Bee sponsors. Without them, we could not have made this event possible. Those are the AS Genico Foundation, Michelle and Tim Brookshire, the Cooperative Teachers Credit Union, Dr. DM Edwards, and again, Tyler Morning Telegraph, M. Roberts Digital Media, and we will be back in just a few minutes.
Welcome to the 31st Annual Corporate Spelling Bee. My name is Nathan Kelly, and I'm proud to serve on the Board of Directors for the Literacy Council and also to be your host for this live stream. And while the Spelling Bee is one of Literacy Council's more popular events, it's our big fundraiser for the year, there are heroes on our staff at Literacy Council that just do incredible work each and every day. And joined with me right now is GED Director Mary Springer. Mary, we had a recent GED graduation. Will you tell our viewers on the live stream how many students, adult students, we had graduate with their GED this year? Uh, we had a total of about 120 students go through the graduation. Now, some of those may be about 30 or 40 were through our career pathway okay. program but the rest was all through our GED program that is that is so awesome 120 adults getting their GED or also getting career pathways maybe going into a career where they have already say, uh, attained second post-secondary um, education and just really incredible work Mary you've been with the Literacy Council for how many years now since 2017 since 2017 mm -hmm. and what would you say has been the biggest impact you see day in and day out um, of the students actually having on our staff? Uh, I would say just the life-changing results that we see in a student, uh, the doors that are opened up through getting their GED, helping them to go on uh, to continue their education, whether that's in career pathways or going on to college or just getting that promotion in a job or more opportunities, more yeah. doors open, uh, even just helping their kids with their homework in school, being able to just support their children in a better way. So it's amazing. Amazing, amazing work. Well, the work that the Literacy Council does every day, I have seen firsthand. It is life changing. And so we appreciate you viewing uh, the live stream of the Spelling Bee event today. If you can, uh, we appreciate all donations. The, the donations that you make uh, are, are able to make possible the work that Mary does with our adult students every day. So we appreciate you viewing. We appreciate you being a partner with the Literacy Council. And we will be right back. Hey, thanks for joining us again. I'm here with my friend Bailey Crawford. Bailey is the Director of Community Engagement for the Literacy Council of Tyler. And really, if I'm telling the truth, the brains behind today's event. Bailey, will you tell us just a little bit about today's Spelling Bee? I sure will. So this is our annual fundraising event, and this is the 31st annual, so 31 years of doing the Spelling Bee. Um, so we have an amazing bee committee that put this all together. Nathan's on that committee as well. Um, so I'm just forever thankful for all the work that went in today and all of the sponsors who are here today with us. Um, I can't yet announce how much has been raised, but stay tuned for that. Are we ahead of our goal? We are ahead of our goal. We are goal. ahead of our goal. Sure awesome. Well, Bailey, I know you have you wear a lot of hats at Literacy Council, and one of those is kind of leading up the efforts behind our annual fund. Will you tell us about our annual fund, tell our viewers about the annual fund? Sure. So our annual fund is called the Dr. Tammy Burnett Society, and it's basically a society that's based on level of giving. Um, and every year we celebrate those donors, too, with a donor luncheon that takes place in January. Um, and so those funds go directly to support our programs. Um, so all of our students' success stories that you may see on our Facebook page um, or videos that we post, all of that money that's raised goes directly to our programs that help our students succeed. And the Dr. Tammy Burnett Society, our viewers may not know that Dr. Tammy Burnett was actually at one time a student of the Literacy Council. Is that right? Yes, she was. She um, went through our programs and now is a professor. She went on to get her doctorate degree and now is a professor at Tyler Junior College. So amazing. The Literacy Council just every day unlocks doors for adult students and really the future is, is limitless for them as, as much education as they want to obtain, whatever they want to do in life as possible, but it all starts with an education and the Literacy Council makes that possible every single day. Bailey, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. appreciate y'all right. watching. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We'll be right back. Hello everyone and welcome once again to the 31st Annual Corporate Spelling Bee hosted by the Literacy Council of Tyler. We're here at the Green Acres Crosswalk Center and we are just waiting, highly anticipating to see which team is going to take home that coveted trophy. And I think we have 14 teams participating today. It's, it's more teams than we've had at the Spelling Bee in a very long time, so there's some strong competition out there this year. Once again, wanted to say a special thank you to Tyler Morning Telegraph, M. Roberts Digital Media for making this live stream event possible. And also wanted to say a special thank you once again to our Queen Bee sponsors, the AS Genico Foundation, Michelle and Tim Brookshire, 
Cooperative Teachers Credit Union, Dr. DM Edwards, and Tyler Morning Telegraph, M. Roberts Digital Media. We're going to be starting the spelling bee in about five minutes, so just hang tight and get ready for the show. Thanks so much. All right, if everyone could make your way to your tables. Welcome to the 31st Annual Corporate Spelling Bee, benefiting the Literacy Council of Tyler. My name's Whitney Patterson, and it's my honor to serve as the executive director of this incredible organization. Thank you all so much for joining us today and for being a part of this event. We are also live streaming the Bee today, so welcome to all of you joining us virtually. If you are watching the live stream, remember you can cheer for your favorite team by commenting your team name, and we do have um, a virtual Spirit Stick Award, so be sure and take part in that. Thank you to Tyler Morning Telegraph and M. Roberts Media for hosting the live stream. I want to start by thanking our Spelling Bee Committee. If you're a member of this, bee, this year's Bee Committee, would you please stand and be recognized? Come on. I'd also like to thank our Board of Directors. If you're a current member of the Literacy Council Board, would you please stand and be recognized? We have several ex officio board members here today. Many of them are previous board chairs and have been very involved. If you're an ex officio board member, would you please stand as well? And I have to brag on our incredible staff who are welcoming you into the doors today. Um, please stand or wave, guys, Literacy Council staff. <laughs> This event is a success thanks to the generosity of our sponsors, which you can find listed in the program. We're especially grateful to our Queen Bee sponsors, the A.S. Genico Foundation, Michelle and Tim Brookshire, Cooperative Teachers Credit Union, Dr. D.M. Edwards, and Tyler Morning Telegraph M. Roberts Media. Thank you so much to these sponsors for making this event possible. Okay, I know we're all ready to get to spelling, but we do have a video to share if you'll direct your attention to the screens. The Literacy Council of Tyler was founded in 1990. The Literacy Council of Tyler was founded in 1990 as a nonprofit organization offering adult education and literacy services. We believe that education is powerful and transformational in the lives of our adult students, their families, and our community as a whole. Our programs include GED preparation, English language services, career pathways, adult basic education, family literacy, workplace literacy, college preparation, and dual enrollment. In 2021, 1,615 individuals enrolled in one of our area programs. We have grown to 45 staff and over 150 volunteers annually. And we are proud to partner with area churches, schools, and businesses to provide our programs in different locations. There's some amazing people here in this organization and it's just you don't feel judged at all. You want to succeed because of these amazing people around you. Our GED program assists students in preparing and taking the GED exam. We use assessments and practice tests in order to really focus in on what the student needs to succeed on the test. I want to say it's a really great program. Ms. Crawford and Ms. Brooke, Gareth Wingfield, I can't name them all. They've all been awesome. 
One of the main reasons that I wanted to go ahead and get my GED was so that I could go to college for business because my husband and I run a small business. Everything we provide is all free. There's no charge to our students for that. I didn't have to pay for the GED book, the tests, they helped with everything. We don't want money or finances to be a reason that a student can't get their GED. We do have federal and state funds that we receive, but we also have a great community that is very giving. And of course, our partnership with TJC is amazing. In July, I'm gonna be doing the career pathways for a CNA. And then after that, I intend to go to TJC to get an RN degree. Career Pathways is a program where we take students who are working on their academic skills and help them gain a training in one of the career fields. We also help them with their academic skills, resumes, interview skills. So we try and help them get on their feet so that they can take that next step into a new career. It doesn't matter how old you are, how long it's been since you were in school, you can still better your future and your family. The best part about the job is watching the students succeed and most of them will keep moving forward, getting higher degrees and you're never too old to learn, and you're never too old to start a new career. I've been working with ESL students since 2010. Today we're celebrating our end of year and their achievements. Our program has grown so much, and it's gone from ESL to business, entrepreneurship classes, citizenship classes, GD in Spanish, and then some conversation classes as well. So the students come to our classroom and they want to improve their English, they want to communicate better. We create a safe space for everybody to feel comfortable and learn. It's a great experience because uh, every day you learn uh, new stuff. One of my goals is to learn English, that way I can help my kids at school and study a profession like maybe medical assistance. My experience is very, very happy uh, to study with the uh, Literacy Council Tyler. The classes is very fun. It's a very, very good school to learn English in Tyler. And I'm very happy. It means a lot for me because I know I'm going for the right way to give my purpose in life. Some of our students are not just classmates anymore. They've become friends, and that's something that is really important in our school, that we're a community. It's not easy to learn English, but I'm making progress. When I came here, I have no friends, and then I made a lot of friends learning English. And it's very, very rewarding when our students succeed. Our students take business classes and they're open their own businesses or become a citizen, get better jobs. It just makes it so rewarding for all of us. It makes what we do worthwhile. Now that you know about our various programs, here's how you can be involved. You can become a volunteer and work one-on-one -on -one with our students to help them achieve their goals. You can become a donor and be part of our annual giving circle, the Dr. Tammy Burnett Society. Or you can sponsor our Spelling Bee, which is our main fundraising event of the year. It's all thanks to community partners like you who help our program succeed. Follow us on social media and check out our website to stay updated on student stories and other news. See, our programs are all geared toward the success of our adult students, their families, and our community as a whole. Their success only happens with your support. Um, this year we have a special student story to share later in the program. More to come on that. We are doing something today called Audience Spell. If you haven't had a chance to purchase your ticket to participate, Audience Spell is $25. You will, uh, later in the program, we'll stop and we'll do Audience Spell and everyone will do it at the same time. And those who select the correct spelling of, of the words will be entered to win three great prizes. Um, so be sure and buy your ticket as we go. You can go to the table up front here, or we have staff circulating in the gray t-shirts. $25. You could win uh, a year to Chick-fil-A, um, $250 to Cavenders, or $100 to The Grove. And you get to participate in the spelling bee from your seat. Okay. I think we're about ready to begin, but first I want to introduce our officials here at the front table. Today's head judge is Smith County Judge Nathaniel Moran. We have Judge Tyler Mayor Don Warren. And White House Mayor James Wansley. 
This year's timekeeper is Yvette Savarse with Fusion Radio. And our pronouncer, as always, is founding board member Mike Starr. Helping us on stage today, you'll see one of our rock star ESL instructors who made a video debut, Nuri Araya. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to introduce Bailey Nichols. Bailey is our Director of Community Engagement, and she and the committee have worked very hard to prepare for today. Bailey? Thank you, Whitney. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so this year we have a whopping 15 teams, and I have the pleasure of introducing them. Um, we're about to bring them up to the stage. Remember that we have the Spirit Stick Award and the Virtual Spirit Stick Award, so make some noise when you hear your team called. Representing Brookshire Grocer Company, we have Roberto Vasquez and Christy Goler. Representing First Christian Church of Tyler, we have Susan Barton and Robert Patterson. Representing First Presbyterian Church, we have Sally Smith Garment and Stuart Baskin. Combs. Those are last year's winners, so watch out for them. Representing True Blue, we have Julian Castillo and Denise Martinez. Look how full this stage is. Can we get a round of applause for all of our teams? All right, so I've been tasked with the, I think, most fun part of the spelling bee, which is the rules. A copy of the official spelling bee rules are on each of your tables. As a reminder, spellers will have 20 seconds to spell a word. That timer starts over upon a definition or a use in a sentence. Mulligans and Stinger Mulligans have, that have been purchased prior to the day of the B have been distributed to those teams, so they were in your seats if you purchased them. A Mulligan allows a team to reject a word and be assigned a new word. A Stinger Mulligan allows a team to reject a word and then assign it to a team of their choice. <laughs> then they'll be given a new word once the reassigned word has been spelled, but get this. Stinger mulligans can be used to deflect another Stinger mulligan to another team until it's finally spelled. It's a little confusing, but we got you guys, don't worry. We'll have a brief pause during our spelling for our Star Student Award and Audience Spell, and our Costume and Spirit Stick Awards will be announced before the final round. As a reminder for teams, 
if one speller gets a word wrong, your entire team is out. So no pressure, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Y'all are first. Um, let's see. Oh, and then you'll exit the stage and go back to your seats in the audience. Um, before we begin, let's give one final round of applause for all 15 of our teams. All right, we're ready to get this bee started. <laughs> we're going to start with round one. First speller, Brookshire's Roberto Vasquez. This word is brought to you by Newberry Real Estate. Abide. Abide. Okay, abide. A B I D E. Abide. That's correct. All right. Next up, First Christian Church, Susan Barton. This word is sponsored by Tracy Kenner. Absorb. Absorb. Can I get you to repeat the word one more time, please? Yes. Absorb. A B S O R B. Absorb. Correct. <laughs> okay. First Presbyterian. Sally Smith Garman. This word is brought to you by Ann Curry. Spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti. S P H A G H E T T I. That is incorrect. Ooh. Oh. oh no. I heard an extra H in there if my ears didn't deceive me. Can, you want to recite the correct spelling, Mike? Yes, thank you. S-P-A-G-H-E-T-T-I. Okay, but it's not all bad news. We do have a prize every year for the first team. To <laughs> so if you'll come over... <laughs> We'll present you with two golden tissue boxes where you can wipe away your tears later, Stuart. It's going to be okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, we love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for participating. Let's give them a round of applause. That's a hard one. And Ms. Patterson, as a reminder to the contestants, you, uh, you cannot bring your piece of paper to the, to the uh, microphone. So please leave that piece of paper at your seat. Thank you, Judge. Next up, Genesis Group, Jan Roberts. This word is sponsored by Patterson Home Inspections. Squabble. Squabble. <laughs> Squabble. S Q U A B B L E. That's correct. All right. Okay, Henry and Peters. Sheila Austin. This word is sponsored by Hall Buick GMC. Zilch. <laughs> An accounting term. <laughs> Zilch. Hey, Mayor. Zilch. Z I L C H. Zilch. Correct. Okay, some of our spellers toward the back are saying they can't hear very well, so, okay. <laughs> Trying to keep it fair, guys. Okay, next up, Ola, 
Tanya Magana. This word is brought to you by Judith Guthrie. Zodiac. Zodiac. <laughs> oh, this is short. <laughs> Zodiac. Z O D I A C. Zodiac. Correct. Okay, Jasper Ventures, Sean Forgy. Fajitas. <laughs> Fajitas. Fajitas. F A J I T A S. Correct. Prothro Wilhelmi, Chinyang Wildy. Nod Jewel. Nod Jewel. Could you repeat the word again? Yes, nodule. Nodule? Okay. N O D U A L, nodule? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh, okay. Good try. Thank you, Prothro. Give them a round of applause again. Next speller, Southside Bank, Ashley Wilson. Femur. Femur. <laughs> femur. Uh, femur? Femur. F-E-M-U-R, femur. Correct. Great job. Okay, South Tyler Rotary, Nicole Grant. Freckle. <laughs> Freckle. <laughs> Freckle. It's <was> loud. <laughs> F R E C K L E. Freckle. Correct. <laughs> Squires, Laura Williams. <laughs> Maggot. Another accounting term. <laughs> Burn. Maggot. <laughs> Maggot. M A G G O T. Correct. Right. True Blue. Julian Castillo. Mana. Mana. Have him come forward. Maybe it's easier up here. <clears throat> the word is manna. I'm sorry, is that map? No. Manna. 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 Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. For the refugees, his uh, benevolence is heaven sent manna. Manna, M-A-N-A, -A, manna. Yes. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We're missing an N. Two Did N's, M-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Great try. Thank you so much for participating, True Blue. Next up, TJC, Mark Pierce. 
Infancy. Infancy. You did say infancy. That's the word. I N F A N C Y. Infancy. Correct. Tyler Morning, Tyler Morning Telegraph, Brandon Ogden. <coughs> Puree. 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 P U R E E. Puree. Correct. All right. Okay, last speller for this round. BME Process, Julie Ross. Rascal. <laughs> Rascal. The word is rascal. R A S C A L. Correct. <laughs> okay. That's the end of round one. We're going into round two. First speller for round two, Brookshire's Christy Goler. <laughs> Gourmet. 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 G O U R M E T. Correct. Great job. And Whitney, I, I have to point out that's the word I missed in my eighth grade spelling bee. Uh -huh. Gourmet. Eighth grade. Okay. <laughs> no comment, Nathaniel. <laughs> do, do you remember how you spelled it? I was in such a hurry, I left off the. T at the oh. end. <laughs> Next speller, First Christian Church, Robert Patterson. Language. 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 L A N G U A G E. Correct. Next up, Genesis Group, John Williams. <laughs> Grammar. Grammar. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, enjoy my pantaloons while you can. Okay. <laughs> Gr thank you. Thank you very much, Ma. Um, grammar. G R A M M A R. Correct. Yeah, see what you did there. Coming in right under that 20 seconds, starting to spell that word, by the way. <laughs> Risk taker. Next up, Henry and Peters, Amber Ferguson. Ozone. Ozone. O-Z-O-N-E. Ozone. Correct. Okay, we're back to Ola, Julia Magana. Enzyme. 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 
E E N Z A M E. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's okay. Thank y'all so much for joining us. First time spellers. Thank y'all. Okay. Jasper Ventures, David Jacobs. Armadillo. 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 A R M A D I L L O. Correct. Hey. Southside Bank, TJ Johnson. Archery. 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 A R C H E R Y. Archery. Correct. South Tyler Rotary, Clint Henderson. Eternity. Eternity. <laughs> Eternity. E T E R N I T Y. Eternity. Thanks, Wyatt. Correct. Okay, Squires. Melissa Combs. Duvet. <laughs> Duvet. Yay, Melissa! <laughs> Duvet. D U V E T. Duvet. Correct. <laughs> Just as a reminder, Squires is last year's champion. <laughs> TJC, Brenda Corrick. Botany. Botany. The branch of biology dealing with plant life taught at TJC. Botany. B O T A N Y. Botany. Correct. All right. <laughs> Tyler Morning Telegraph. Tim Thorson. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. C A F E T E R I A. Correct. All right. Okay, and back to VME process, Jacob Spitzer. Cosmetic. Cosmetic. <laughs> Cosmetic. C O S M E T I C. Correct. Okay. Let's give it up for everybody who made it through round one and two. Congrats. We are entering round three. Get ready. Brookshire's Roberto Vasquez. Savvy. 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 S A V V Y. Savvy. Correct. Right. First Christian Church, Susan Barton. Zucchini. 
Zucchini, Z-U-C-C-H-I-N-I. Correct. All right. We're getting harder. Genesis Group, Jan Roberts. <laughs> Chromosome. 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 C H R O M O S O M E. Correct. <laughs> Henry and Peters, Sheila Austin. Camouflage. 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 C A M O U F L A G E. Camouflage. Right on the money. Correct. All right. <laughs> Jasper. Sean Forgey. Fermata. Fermata. A prolongation at the discretion of the performer of a musical note. I don't have the origin. I've got um, Vermont. Time. Well, Fermata. He a, he yeah. asked for more information. Oh, you're, you're good. In this section, the <laughs> well, we'll see if you're good. Time. <laughs> the oboe soloist has several short cadenzas, expressive melodies, and a fermata at the end of the piece. Fermata. Fermata. F-E-R-M-A-T-T-A. -T -T I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Close. Very close. One extra T in there. Thank you, Jasper. Hey. Yes, thank you, Jasper Ventures. F-E-R-M-A-T-A. Okay, Southside Bank, Ashley Wilson. Sleuth. Sleuth. Uh, can you use that in a sentence? Yes. Okay, South Tyler Rotary, Nicole Grant. Electrolyte. Electrolyte. Can we see the back of that fan, please? Do you have a word written on it? <laughs> Sorry. Electrolyte. Uh, electrolyte. Electrolyte. E L E T R. Oh. <laughs> R O Y T E. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Great try, thank you so much. Who needs judges when you have the crowd? <laughs> I was going to say, do you want to give the correct spelling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, e L E C T R O L Y T E. Okay, TJC, Mark Pierce. 
Wake up. Oh, I'm sorry. Squires, Squires. how could I forget you? <clears throat> Laura Williams. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Could you say that in a sentence? Yes. Gravity is a natural phenomenon. P-H, phenomenon, sorry. P-H-E-N-O-M-E-N? -E -N? No. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. No! And just a reminder to all contestants, once you start spelling that word, don't go back to the beginning. Right. But it was still a little bit off. We missed the last two letters. Mike, go ahead. Phenomenon is P-H-E-N-O-M-E-N-O-N. Yeah. Round of applause for Squires. <laughs> okay, now we're at TJC, Mark Pierce. Reciprocal. Reciprocal. <laughs> Reciprocal. Did I understand that correct? Yes. I'm, I'm serious. I got bad hearing and I can barely understand you. I understand. Reciprocal. R E C I P. R O C A L, reciprocal. Correct. All right. <laughs> Tyler Morning Telegraph, Brandon Ogden. Salamander. Salamander. You said salamander? Salamander. Salamander. S-A-L-A-M-A-N-D-E-R. Correct. Good job. <laughs> and VME process, Julia, uh, Julie Ross. <laughs> Lacrosse. 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 L A C R O S S E. Perfect. Right on the Great job. Okay, that rounds out round three. And um, before we start round four, I just want to remind you again about audience spell. Maybe one or two more rounds and we're going to break for audience spell. So if you have not purchased your $25 ticket to play, do that now. Brooke's over there waving her hand. You can see her. Okay. Going into round four. Yes! First speller, round four, Brookshire's, Christy Goler. Sequin. Sequin. Sequin, S-C-U-I-N. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. S E Q U I N. Thank you, Brookshires. <laughs> Great job. Great try. First Christian Church, Robert Patterson. 
Extradition. 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 E X T R A D I T I O N. Correct. Okay. Great job. Genesis Group, John Williams. Aoli. Aoli. And now for a little Aoli. Okay. Uh, AI, Aoli. AI, O, L, I. I'm sorry, but you started. No, no, he's okay. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. I am. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, and I am. I was incorrect when I said that earlier. That you can't start over. You can only start over if you don't correct the beginning of, the, of what you already said. So you got it right. A I O L I. I got it right. <laughs> It's not often I'm overruled. <laughs> I'll mark my calendar. But I've been overruled. <laughs> you, can re, you can restart the word. You may not change the order of any of the letters you've already said. Gotcha. <laughs> Henry and Peters, Amber Ferguson. Coincidence. 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 C O I N C E D E N C E. Coincidence. Sorry, that is incorrect. Great try. Thank you, Henry and Peters. C O I N C I D E N C E. Okay, TJC, Brenda Corrick. Alkaline. Alkaline. Can you get a definition, please? The battery. Having the properties of a substance with marked basic properties. Alkaline. A L K A L I N E. Alkaline. Correct. All right. Tyler Morning Telegraph, Tim Thorson. Aerodynamic. 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 A E R O D Y N A M I C. Correct. Okay. Okay, and BME process, Jacob Spitzer. Genealogy. Genealogy. A study of family ancestral lines and the methods of investigation of them. Genealogy. G E N E O L O G Y. Genealogy. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's G E N E A. L O G Y. Ah, so close. Thank you, BME. Okay, now that we're just down to a few teams, we're taking a brief break from spelling so they can regroup a little bit. Um, and we're going to introduce our Star Student Award winners. This is presented every year by Texas Bank and Trust, and we'll introduce them with a brief video.
we moved to the United States in 2017. We didn't speak any English, so we had to learn the language. We looked for uh, English classes after work. We got in classes in September on that year. I really appreciate my teachers at the moment starting my own company about irrigation system, fixing, uh, repairing and maintenance on sprinkler systems. I just got my contractor license and I hope my wife helped me to grow this company. I have a lot of plans for my future. Elko gave me the, the vision to help my community. In August, I go start classes on the college for bookkeeping and they provide childcare for two of my kiddos. I'm so excited about it because I can help my husband with his job. We can grow our own company. I love the program and I think if you have a child and you want to learn English, Tyler Learn as a Council is the perfect opportunity for you. I recommend everybody who is just arriving at this beautiful country to try to learn English. They give me a possibility to dream and make my dreams true. Estoy muy agradecido y quiero animarlos a todos a empezar sus sueños. If you dream it, you can do it. Anieli is actually here with us today with her three children. Anieli, will you come to the stage and be recognized, please? <laughs> Gregorio couldn't join us today because he's working hard. After the B, representatives from Texas Bank and Trust, if you'll join us up front for a photo with her. Success stories like Anna's and Gregorio's are not possible without your sponsorship at today's B. If you're here today as a corporate sponsor, we thank you, but we do still need your help. You can make a donation today to support students just like them and thousands of others. All the proceeds from Audience Spell will directly support our programs and it's time to play Audience Spell. This is your last chance to participate. As a reminder, we've got three great prizes. You just have to pay $25, and you'll be able to play the game and win a prize, potentially. Okay, so once we get started, we'll tell, we'll tell you when to go. Don't do this yet, but once we tell you go, there is an envelope on every table that says, do not open. <laughs> Who opened it? If you already opened it, you're in trouble. Um, we ask that you open it as soon as Bailey says go, and then distribute it to everyone who has purchased the chance to play. There will be a multiple choice uh, quiz, and you'll select the correct spelling of each word. And when you're done, you're just going to wave your paper in the air for one of our staff to come and pick it up. Once we collect all those back, we'll put you in for a drawing for one of the three prizes, and we'll announce those prizes right at the end of the program today. Okay? Yep. We also want to thank again Carolyn and Joel Hudson for sponsoring Audience Spell this year. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Yep, ready. All right. Who opened their envelope? Come on, spill the beans. <laughs> All right, you may open your envelopes and distribute out to those who have or paid, rather. And the five minutes starts. Obelisk. <laughs> Obelisk. O-B-E-L-I-S-K. Correct. Hey. Genesis Group, Jan Roberts. Scythe. Scythe. An implement used for mowing grass, grain, or other crops. Do this. 
Scythe, S-C-Y-T-H-E. Incredibly done, right on the money, yeah. great job. Okay. I would have never gotten that word. <laughs> no. That's a tough word. TJC, Mark Pierce. Phalanges. Your fingers. fingers. The digital bones of the hand or foot. Phalanges. Fingers, right? Or toes. What? Or toes. Okay. Phalanges. P H A L A N G E S. Phalanges. Awesome job. Right on the money. Great job. Great job. Tyler Morning Telegraph. Brandon Ogden. Futurity. Futurity. Futurity, F U T U R I T Y. Correct. We made it through. We are entering round six. First up, First Christian Church, Robert Patterson. Masquerade. 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 M A S Q U E R A D E. Correct. Great right. job. Robert. Great job. Genesis Group, John Williams. Timorously. Timorously. I'm sorry, one more time. Timorously. Timorous. Timorous. Please. Please. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> T I M O R O U S L Y? Correct. Wow. Wow. <laughs> all right. TJC, Brenda Corrick. Unerringly. 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 Unerringly, U-N-E-R-R-I-N-G-L-Y, unerringly. Correct. Okay, Tyler Morning Telegraph, Tim Thorson. Velodrome. Velodrome. He felt her presence strongest when he skated in secret alone at the velodrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to work on those sentences. V E L O D R O M E. Correct. <laughs> that, that's impressive. All right. The 
Hearts to Rome. First Christian Church, Susan Barton. Oh, I'm sorry. Round seven. Round seven. No one got out that round, so it just passed me by. First Christian Church, Susan Barton. Xanthic. 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 Would you use it in a sentence, please? Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it won't have anything to do with skating this time, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> Much to the distress of all of us, the wall which we had tried to paint brown had an undeniably Xanthic hue. Uh, Xanthic. X A N T H I C. Way to go. That was great. <laughs> These last four teams are good. Genesis Group, Jan Roberts. Hippogriff. Hippogriff. A legendary animal having the four parts of a winged griffin and the body and hindquarters of a horse. It's in my English. Hippogriff. H I P P O G R I F F. Correct. Okay. TJC, Mark Pierce. Ophthalmic. <laughs> Ophthalmic. Ophthalmic. This is like the glasses, people, right? Ophthalmic. More or less. O P H. T H A L M I C, Ophthalm. Great job. Wow. <laughs> Tyler Morning Telegraph, Brandon Ogden. Machismo. <laughs> This is not charades, sir. <laughs> Settle, Mark. Machismo. <laughs> Machismo. M A C H I S M O. Correct. Words keep getting harder, but they keep spelling them. All right. First Christian Church, Robert Patterson. Dysrhythmia. Dysrhythmia. Can you repeat it one more time? Yes. Dysrhythmia. Dysrhythmia. D I S R H Y M E T H A. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh, oh great try. Great run, guys. Thank you, First Christian Church. Hebdomad. <laughs> Hebdomad. A group of seven. A Hebdomad. <laughs> oh, 
Time. You're gonna use the stinger. What do y'all think? It's at 22 seconds. If you want to use that stinger, use that stinger. Okay. <laughs> I do want to use the stinger. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Smart decision. <laughs> Who are you giving it to? Uh, These guys are rock stars here, and they scare me. So I. <laughs> okay. Genesis is using their stinger. Oh! The Tall and Morning Telegraph, who is deflecting with a stinger. He's re-stinging. He's re-stinging. You can't re-sting. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are. Can't send it back to us? No, it can't come back to you. It stops here. Yeah. It's you. So now yes. TJC... Is that? You say group of seven? A group of seven. Yeah. Hebdomad. H E B D O M A D. Hebdomad. That's correct. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> TJC didn't need a mulligan. <laughs> okay. So am I correct? It goes back to Genesis. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and just a reminder, you yes. got 20 seconds to make a decision here or to start spelling that word. It's, yes, it's still John. Silhouette. Silhouette. Wait for my 20 seconds to expire. All right. <clears throat> Silhouette. S-I-L-H-O-U-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Correct. Great job. <laughs> TJC. No? Oh. Tell her morning telegraph? Sorry. Right. TJC's already spelled this okay. round. Fugetta. <laughs> what? Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, run that by me again now. <laughs> Fugetta. Fugetta. Uh, F U G H E T T A. That's correct. <laughs> Okay, now that we're down to three teams, we are going to announce our prizes. <laughs> Stupid. All right, so this award is sponsored and chosen by Dr. D.M. Edwards. It's our costume award. And this year's winner is, can we get a drum roll? First Christian Church! Would a representative come grab your prize? And then we ask you all that you'll come join us in this corner after the B for a group photo. I'll come meet y'all down here. Maybe. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, now we have the Spirit Stick Award, which is chosen by Cooperative Teachers Credit Union. The winner is Prothro Wilhelmy. <laughs> Once the program ends, if our award winners will join us up front, we'll get pictures of everybody.
<laughs> do want to remind too that we still have did you see the virtual spirit stick already did i miss that oh perfect um virtual spirit stick is happening if you're watching the live stream so be sure to comment your organization's uh name in the live chat and that will be chosen later after the b Okay, and we have our audience spell winners. Third place, $100 to the Grove, Elizabeth Hudson. Oh, you can wave or find us after the program. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> yep. Second place, $250 gift certificate provided by Cavenders, Eb Torres. And our grand prize today provided by Chick-fil-A, a year of Chick-fil-A, Jenny Maddox. Thank you to everyone who participated in Audience Spell. We appreciate your support. Where's Jenny Maddox at? Okay. <laughs> I'm good. She's going to have to ration that box if it's going to last a year. <laughs> okay. Back to spelling. All right. This is Jan. Cryptanalysis. 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 C R Y P T O N A L Y S I S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. That was great job. Great try. <laughs> Thank you, Genesis Group. Okay. So, now that we have two teams remaining, we are now in the final round. The, eliminate, the elimination procedure changes when only two teams remain. At this point, when one team misspells a word, the other team will be given an opportunity to spell the same word. If the second team spells that word correctly, plus the next word on the pronouncer's list, then the second team shall be declared the winner. Sorry. The two words in a row rule exist so that no team has an unfair advantage with the winning word. So we're entering the final round. Whitney, before we go forward, can I ask Mike to spell that last word properly just for our audience? C-R-Y-P-T-A-N-A. L Y S I S. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Would y'all mind moving up to the front yeah. row? I want to come up. Now you can't see or hear. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Dactyloscopy. <laughs> Dactyloscopy. It's Mark. Dactyloscopy. D A C T Y L O S C O P Y. Dactyloscopy. That is correct. Wow. <laughs> okay, Tyler Morning Telegraph, Brandon Ogden. Echimosis. Echimosis. Time. 
ekimosis. Ekimosis. E C H I M O S I S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay, now TJC. Ecchymosis, E C C H Y M O S I S, Ecchymosis. That is correct. Okay, now TJC will need to spell the next word correctly to claim the trophy. <laughs> um, so it, it's Mark. Oh, oh no, I know. <laughs> Blitzkrieg. I love this part of history. Blitzkrieg. B L I T Z K R I E G. Blitzkrieg. That is correct. correct. <laughs> Give it up for TJC. Thank you, Tyler Morning Telegraph. Great job. to tell y'all, Mark is retiring soon and told me before this that this might be his last year to spell. He's spelled with us for many years, so congratulations. Would the entire TJC team, if you want to come up with your team photo real quick, we'll get a couple photos. That concludes our Spelling Bee. Thank you so much for joining us for the 31st Annual Spelling Bee. If we can have all of our award winners join us for photos, thank you so much. Have a great day.